everybody, this is Martin Wong here again. Uh, in this uh, Metastock tutorial, I'm going to show you this time how to use the uh, volume, how to in put in the volume indicator into your chart. Now, volume start with the with the letter of a V, so it should be right at the bottom. Uh, it's not really bottom, just like the one two thirds bottom of the drop down combo box, which is located at the top left in here. Now we can see R, and that's left here now. Now also pay attention, right? When you the cursor is away from the drop down dialog box, it's actually showing an arrow. But when you move closer, you notice that that volume now becomes a hand icon. That's what we want to do. Now once you have that here, what do you want to do? We want to drop the volume indicator right at the bottom of the meta stock chart here. Now they do that you 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 can't drag it like this, you see? So what you need to do is make sure that the mouse cursor is actually turned to a hand cursor. Okay, once you do that, you click on your mouse, drag it, drag it, drag it. Now, it's pay attention to the icon, right? You don't want to drop it onto the bar chart. Okay, you don't want to drop it, but you want to make sure this opens up uh, as a new inner window box. And you want to drag it right at the below here. Now, you pay notice now. Now, you notice that. See that? Now, you notice that the arrow now has turned to a rectangle box rectangle box now when once you turn to a rectangle box you can drop it now this won't drop anything because this will still highlight on the chart which is uh, not what we want we want to make sure it becomes a rectangle box there you go it is a rectangle box and once you see the mouse mouse with an arrow turn to rectangle just drop it and there you go you just click ok and there you have it now the same thing you can move this a bit uh, make the window a bit smaller so you can place about one third of the chart move it right in and you can actually highlight or change the color of the volume uh, uh, line chart in here by clicking on it and once you click it you'll notice again there is a red square box highlighted on it and you can go right to the uh, bottom left and change the thickness of the line chart there you go now it looks much better isn't it now you have volume in here in your meta stock chart and that's simplified everything now that's the end of our meta stock tutorial for adding the volume indicator to our chart thank you for listening